Hello and welcome back to this Let's Play of The Sims 2, where we have been playing a Legacy Challenge. As with the last episode, unfortunately, my own recordings, uh, voice recordings that is, did not get recorded. <laughs> they don't exist. I thought I did, but it just turns out I recorded the audio twice from the game. Which means that I have to do another clip episode, basically putting together clips of what I found to be the most interesting clips or most telling clips of what happened during my episodes here. This will again be either, I think it actually will be four episodes in one, and that means that there's only five minutes per episode. That's because some of them were incredibly boring. Uh, you know, we left off, we had received twins in Felix and Felicia. We we're waiting for Adopt Me to turn teenager so she can just leave. Uh, Felix and Felicia turned out to be as brilliant as their, uh, you know, uh, old generations. No problems at all learning skills. Ash kept on working on his best friend skills. I think actually uh, in this episode I kind of count the number of best friends. If you freeze the video there you can kind of get an impression. Uh, and I also uh, will be able to see it later on when he opens up his phone book. I did not think about that possibility when I voiced, uh, voiced the last episode. Anyways, as I said, the kids just kept on being brilliant. They gained skills super quickly. Um, right now we see Felix here reaching level 5 of creativity, I think. Um, two days into his toddlerhood, fully maxed out with potty training, um, learning how to talk and learning how to walk. Here we see the phone book. Count the best friends if you want to, if you want to score me. I can see quite a lot of best friends, that's for sure. Uh, and he just kept on getting more. Um, okay, I can see 33 there. So that's nice. Oh yeah, I think, yeah, I was a bit confused at this point, because, you know, we had a wish there that was locked, it was like, have 30 best friends at once, and I was just like, why isn't that being unlocked? I actually remember that, it was super annoying. Uh, of course the kids grew up eventually. Here we have Felix turning into a kid. Uh, it went by pretty quickly, we just let them skill. Again, I say we, I just let them skill. Um, so they would already have something, you know, would have quite a lot of skill before skilling at night, which is like the family tradition now. Getting talked to by strangers at the bar, which is also now something that all the kids in my family has to go through, I guess, especially this generation of kids. Uh, but yeah. Shoo him! Okay, no, of course, hang out. He has to get more best friends. Uh, what else is there to do? Uh, yeah, I encountered this very strange bug. Uh, Brenda and Ash were gonna lie outside and um, look at the stars or something. First of all, it's 8am on a Saturday. Second of all, it looks like Ash is dying of first alone. It was so confusing, and Brenda was the same, basically just lying a bit further away. Again, no surprise that the knights go away to this. Ghosts lying around, the kids reading up on some, uh, something. In this clip, I want to show that Adopt Me actually wasn't left that far out in the dust. Uh, I did skill her, even though I didn't necessarily want to. <laughs> As I did eventually actually catch up to the other kids and max all of her skills too. Here we see that Felix has already mastered uh, cooking, now also mechanical, and he is just going straight on with charisma. And that was actually basically it for the first episode. It was pretty boring, because when you have the young kids here and the adults are as uh, set in stone as they are now, usually with the older generations, you know, the kids would now have multiple kids, if that makes sense. Uh, older kids. Uh, which would take up more space too, but here we have really old parents with really young kids and that makes it kind of boring because the adults are so established already, the kids are already established, there's really nothing to do except for to skill and get some more uh, talent medals or talent uh, badges. It was seriously kind of dull. But what can you do? Nothing, that's what. So again, what do we do in the next episode? We continue skilling. You see though that Felicia and Felix, already like two days into their uh, childhood, has already started mastering quite a lot. Uh, there was really no huge issues there. I think also, what I did with Felix at this time was that I made him paint quite a lot. I don't remember exactly why, if it was to just earn as much m money as possible, but... Yeah, it's just basically all I did, it was to make him paint. Brenda, I didn't care about. She had done her fair share of work so far. Uh, Adopt Me finally became a teenager. Same hairstyle as all of her sisters, approximately. Except for Esther. And I sent her straight off to college, not surprisingly. Uh, 
she likes well-smelling people without a job who better not go and have uh, swimwear on. And she was also in a popularity sim, which I guess fits her. She wants to find popularity and love that she didn't get elsewhere. Uh, also, I made her do the kid's homework before she went to college. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make her do her own. As you see right now, I didn't even care when she left. She's leaving right now, I think. And I was just like, yeah, sure, sure, why? I'm busy looking elsewhere. I don't care about you. Adopt me. Just get out of here. Like, Felix just has to study. Uh, he soon mastered every skill. And there, Adopt me is gone. Yeah, she's off to college. Main, like, graduate with nothing. Uh, so, here we are. Felix mastering all of his skills. Uh... And of course, I don't stop there. Felix has to master anger management, fire safety, parenting. I mean, he's like 10 years old. <laughs> there you also get a glimpse into his personality, by the way, which is kind of rare for me. I never really bother with the personality as much. I know it affects how often you, for an example, get... Uh, or when you're, how quickly your skills grow and stuff, but yeah. I was really surprised at this point that Ash and Brenda are already approaching elderhood. It made sense. It just surprised me. Uh, I, at this point, concentrated on having Felix get a good relationship with his parents. They were watching TV together. I didn't really care much about Felicia. As you see here, there's a TV going on. Um, again, poor Felicia. She just was away. But it did really scare me when I suddenly saw that, oh, crap, that's right. Like, they're soon turning into elders. And that was that episode. See how quickly these go by now? I'm so sorry about it. After this episode, there's only one more, and this series is done. It's kind of weird to think about, actually. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, look at the picture, by the way. I haven't noticed, but, like, Felix is, of course, the, the center of attention, like it should be. So in this episode, um, of course, they will grow up to be elders. Well-deserved, I might add. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, I found out that uh, Felix and Felicia were so talented and had fulfilled so many wishes already that they could basically buy those uh, perk points or whatever it's called. I'm not sure what they're called. They were kind of new. At the end of my The Sims 2 career, I kind of didn't pay attention to them because I never really needed them. It's the same in this one, really. Uh, but we kind of like do perks like for mood decay that the cable or the mood decay will happen slower and stuff. Yeah, I never really bothered with it. Ah, uh, yeah, here they're growing up to elders. It came as a surprise, I didn't get to focus on one of them turning into an elder. It came kind of as a, uh, like, I was focusing on Brenda, Alexa or Ash grew up. I was focusing on Ash. Uh, Brenda grew up. It was really confusing. Of course, I got blonde hair. I'm gonna change that in just a second, but we also have to take a look at Brenda growing up, of course. So I tried to focus on Brenda, and... There we go. Both will deserved into elderhood. Uh, they're gonna keep on working, of course, because what else is there to do? I don't remember. I think at this point, Brenda was in the culinary career. Uh, I don't remember what Ash was, uh, was in. I had changed it quite a bit. Ash, uh, I decided to give him a different hairstyle. Uh, I decided to give him a fedora. No, not a fedora. A sixpence hat. Because why not? I just wanted a different look than what he had had. Uh, I also made him work more in his badges. Um... Uh, Go on sewing. Uh, I don't know why I chose that. I just wanted something for him to do. Brenda decided to write. Uh, she actually finished a novel. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, it was a recipe book, I think. It was just a, a novel in game, of course, but uh, oh, yeah, the description actually comes later. Never mind, you'll see. It's brilliant. It's very telling of what Brenda's recipe book would be all about. <laughs> And Alex, or Ash, of course, still painting, earning money, getting badges. Uh, oh yeah, there we go to the novel. Uh, Brenda's best uh, recipes I was going to write first, then became recipe for some reason. Or Brasip. And then it just became Brenda's best. <laughs> Which I still think is kind of a cool name. And the description is, of course, a collection of Brenda Useless's best recipes. For your usage. Warning. Side effects. Sorry, that just took a while for me to write, apparently. Side effects include pregnancy with... With only female infants. 
and where to go for some reason. But I just had to add in the freaking amount of female babies that Brenda had. It was insane. Uh, the twins became teenagers, and uh, Generation 9 grew up to be, unfortunately, not the best looking bunch. I think Felicia was super, super scrumptious. By the way, can you see here Felix's um, turn-ons? He did turns on somebody who has no job, but also somebody who's wildly successful in jobs, but god forbid if you know how to cook. <laughs> and of course a romance sim. Basically he turned into a sim who doesn't know what he wants. All he really knows is that he wants a lot, but no thank you when it comes to being able to cook. Slightly odd, but that's the useless le legacy for you. I can't really quite explain it. And there we go, Felicia. Felicia turned out to be really good looking, uh, if you ask me. I also really like her hairstyle for some reason. She became a knowledge sim. Brown hair with fats, but no custom hair. Perfectly fine. Uh, but of course, we just sent Brandy off to... No, Brandy? We sent Felicia off to college almost immediately. There was no point for her to stay there uh, in this household. She was just taking up valuable time before going to college. Kind of sad to see her go, though, of course, but it's had to happen. It really did. Uh, I think she got a ton of scholarships. Uh, naturally. Like, yes, there we go with that one, that one, that one. <laughs> like, for all of her skills being super high leveled. So she would eventually join her uh, other older siblings at college. Which is fine. I'm gonna miss you, Felicia, but, like, what can you do? Felix, of course, not going to college. We already had a college, um generation. So, Felix is now a single child. And that feels kind of good. Because <laughs> I, I, I knew for an example that that would be the last time I had a teenager in the household. Uh, because like, when Felix grows up he will have a wife and a kid and that's the end of his legacy. And that's coming pretty quickly. You know, one episode left. Doom ba -do -dum -bum -bum -bum. Uh, in this episode, I think I made over Felix a bit, uh, because I figured out with naturally born dreads, which is quite impressive, by the way, why not make him an homage to maybe my favorite sim in this legacy. Uh, that, uh, like, that was an heir to the legacy. And that would be absolutely useless, uh, the second generation. I think he, I, I would argue that he was my favorite. I played around a bit with different, um, different kinds of, um hairstyles, and I ended up with something that was like an in-between between Felix and Absolutely. Because, you know, the entire black bandana thing was what I used with Absolutely. And with uh, Felix, I ended up with something that was in university, or... Uh, wasn't it? The Sims 2 University? I don't quite remember, but basically then, the dreads with a bandana that's underneath the hair, not on top of the hair. So that was kind of like my homage to uh, Absolutely. I remember that very really pretty well because absolutely was all in all my favorite of um, the useless men. I, I just really genuinely enjoyed his company <laughs> when I was playing with him. Uh, and it was the first one to really kickstart the entire legacy, you know? So that's why I ended up with that. It wasn't so lucky with love, his love life, though, but that's well deserved for a romance sim. Am I right? Oh god, I struggled for such a long time. I had downloaded some... Um, packs there for like makeup to get like more f diverse um, eyes and I absolutely loved it but it's so difficult to find something that fits both skin color wise and that fits uh, actually what I'm looking for. Uh, I don't know exactly, exactly remember what I ended up with there but it was so so difficult to actually find something that I found well nice both upper lid and uh, lower lid. It was super, super difficult. Like, they don't make him look like a woman eater, you know. I would, I did like that, you know, they could get some... Oh, no, no eyeshadow, no, what am I thinking? Uh, some definition there and some eyelids, because I felt that was kind of lacking. The Sims is a great game for its time, uh, but, you know, it gets even better with some, um, some extra mods and downloads. And... Of course, I always like getting some lip gloss on my men. I don't know why I do that in The Sims 2, but I always do. In The Sims 3 too, I generally put makeup on them just to make them more defined or a bit more clean-looking, defined-looking. I don't really know why I do it, but I do. 
Also changing the eyebrows is super important for me so that I get some more definition. I like some powerful eyebrows. Like that. <laughs> or that. Or that. Uh, I still think that Felix had quite the feminine face. Long and feminine. Uh, and I can't really tell that he has any traits that I would recognize from the rest of his extended family. I really wouldn't. Like, I couldn't pinpoint that I was Brenda's and Ash's kids. Uh, I was going to go for the aspiration benefits for romance, because I, I was again in that situation where it was just like, what do I actually do now in this game? He has mastered all skills. He has done pretty much anything he needs to do. Sure, he can get some badges. What's the point? Um, Ash and Brenda are done. We're just basically waiting for this guy to grow up to be an adult so we can have kids and get the 10th generation here and we can end this let's play. So I had no idea what I actually wanted to do. Uh, and that's why I decided that, okay, we're just gonna have him date around a lot as a teenager. <laughs> He's just gonna... Well, I'm not gonna say the, uh, sleep around, but, uh, because that's impossible, but... He definitely enjoyed himself in his teenage years, we'll see. Like, we go to the matchmaking service at once and pay him max because, you know, we're loaded. <laughs> so we want somebody who we can actually date. Uh, we get, actually, remember, in the, in the game, there is somebody called Florence de la Rosa. This is her grandkid in my, ga in my game. Uh, I don't remember exactly what um, who the fathers are and stuff. I think they were maybe were random townies. Uh, but that's uh, Florence de Rosa's grandchild. Uh, don't remember exactly what I called her. Uh, because Florence de Rosa had a son. Who then had that daughter. Yeah, that makes sense. I had to think about it right bit now. Uh, I didn't really play a lot with them. You know, I like to progress the town like it would in The Sims 3. So whenever I finish the generation in this family, I would finish the generation in all the families in town too. It was quite fun, actually, to see them um, to see them grow up like that and see how the different families would look eventually. Felix wasn't quite the charmer he thought he was, but it didn't turn out he was. He just had to work a bit on it. And uh, as far as I remember, he soon had his first kiss. Quite magical. There we go. No? Okay, no? Oh yeah, he wanted hit on it. I love the animation so much. The animation for hit on. Like... That's just looks like, oh! <laughs> And with the first kiss, the date ended on a dream date, and that sounds like, you know, that's something you wanted, so we ended it right there and then. <laughs> and of course, being the romance him he is, he wanted to go on another date, so I did. Uh, he went on a date with Marissa Wilson, I think her name is, and I've been eyeing her for a long time in this Let's Play. Uh, she's in a teen townie with the nightlife expansion pack, and I absolutely love how she looks. She is made in-game. She is pretty, she has nice uh, makeup on, <laughs> which is very important. No, but she has nice features, so I just thought, okay, that's actually a really nice... Um, girl, uh, that I have, I've been eyeing, so I was kind of happy when she got her on a date, because I was thinking in the future, when Felix grows up, having a good relationship with somebody and then growing up with them, immediately inviting them over, moving in, marriage, kids. <laughs> that was my plan. Uh, experienced a fun glitch at the end of their uh, at the end of their dates where they continuously got scared of something but that didn't stop them from getting a dream date no it did not come on let's see it I just don't know what they were scared of they were looking over at the graveyard and the not the, you know, the graveyard technically and the um, pool and stuff so I know they're by the pool aren't they eh, I don't know anymore it annoyed me greatly, uh, and it took a while for him to get out of it, and they just kept on <gasps> kept on looking over there, but what can we do? Nothing. Uh, anyways, I've been a Binding Gamer, thank you for joining me for yet another episode of this Let's Play. I'm sorry that last episodes turned out like this, but it just has to be done like this. Um, next episode will be the final one. Again, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna tally up the score. That's also just the way it turned out. I did in my original recording, but then it turns out I didn't record my voice, etc, etc, etc. I'm sorry, but the important thing is that we got to the final goal in the next episode. So we'll see how Felix's teen teenage years are, and his very early young adult days, or adult days, because, you know, we won't play much more with him. <laughs> Anyways, I've been a Gamer, thank you for joining me, bye-bye!